So Sarah, there's a line that Maria crosses from grief into madness in the film. What gets her to that place where she absolutely must open that door? I, I think she crosses, she opens the door because in the movement between grief and madness, which is not a linear movement, it's, it's up and down and all around, um, she has a glimpse of happiness and redemption for just a second in her son's voice. And nothing in the world matters at that moment. Um, all of the warnings, all of the this is a bad idea, all of the consequences, they just vanish into that thought of if for one second I could hold that boy again, I'll do anything in the world and it's worth anything. Would you do it? No. No. I wouldn't go to the temple. No, yeah. I wouldn't go to the temple. If I was in the temple, yeah. I would probably be as crazy and unthinking and bonkers as she is, yeah. but I don't think I'd go to the temple. Yeah. I was just thinking while you were saying that, I think if I'd gone all the way there, I would want to... What's uh, one more step? Yeah, what's one more step? Yeah. And what's your fascination with crossing this divide between the living and the dead? Uh, I am very fascinated with what's on the other side um, and what is in the afterlife, what there is more to this world. I think that there is a lot and that really intrigues me. Uh, you know, I'm not necessarily a particularly religious person, but I'm uh, really intrigued into, into the supernatural. Yeah, so I just, I love this, the great thing about ghost stories is you can explore, um, you can explore themes that you can't explore in any other movie because it would just mm. be boring. You know, it's, it's the same with horror in general. Oh, like, wow. like yeah, I mean, if you explored religion the way The Exorcist does in any other movie, hmm. you would it just would feel be, like homework. Yeah, it would just be a bad, in, in horror, you can really explore stuff oh. that people will go, oh yeah, okay. You're such a true believer. Mm. You are. You really. You are. You're a true believer in horror. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. think there are directors who come to genre movies for a variety of reasons that don't have to do with loving genre. Like, yeah. This is the movie that you wanted to make. You're uh, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. You're not doing this so that it makes money, so that uh, you can go make a different movie, which I think is uh, really cool. Nobody's paying me anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> and after the family tragedy, why does Maria not undergo the healing process that her husband and her daughter do? Because she feels responsible. Um, I, you know, I, I think I think you can heal if you can have something make sense, and if you can forgive yourself. But in a moment like a car crash, Maria is unable to heal because she relives that moment over and over. And I think the longer, I think the farther she goes down that rabbit hole the more times a day she's right back in that car thinking, if I just pulled his foot harder, I should have kicked the door open. I could have, you know, why those guys were holding me back. I didn't, I should have pushed through them. And so there's no healing because the, the event is being relived every day in her mind. I mean, mm. Yeah, I, th I think it's, it's, the whole movie is about someone that never lets go. Never, yeah. there's no closure. Yeah. There's no closure. Um, let it go. Let, Let it go. go. <laughs> Sorry. We've spent a lot of time very loopy together. I'm just saying this is this is one of the things that happens when you shoot on location and you get I hope this that violently makes alone. the uh, interview with my nieces would be very Let happy. it go. Yeah, it's like probably that. patented it on the Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fine. Well speaking of shooting on location, is there how did you like filming in India and why did you choose to set the film in India? I love shooting in India. Uh, it's I'm quite a chaotic person and India is quite a chaotic place, so it really, it really suited me very well. Um, I just particularly set the story there because with horror, you're always trying to find new ways to scare people, and it's all about suspension of disbelief. And India offered a, a you know, a whole blank canvas that really hasn't been explored in 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 scary movies, um, and. Uh, enables an audience, I think a Western audience will go that step further, a bit like they did with, with, uh, with uh, the Asian movie, like uh, right. The Ring and The Grudge, they, they, they could believe that, that these things could happen. 
and also I think there's nothing there's nothing scarier than than being isolated and I think Maria's character is very very isolated she, she's got no one to speak to out there yeah. uh, and I think that makes it really just it's just hot it's a horrible position to be in I think